provide instructions for making specific proteins, but a gene doesn't build a protein directly. There is an intermediate molecule known as ribonucleic acid or RNA, which links DNA to protein synthesis. This flow of information from gene sequence to RNA to protein is known as the central dogma of biology. And although this concept was first described by Francis Crick in 1956, it still holds today with only some rare exceptions. Getting from DNA to protein requires two major steps, transcription and translation. Linguistic terms are used to describe this flow of information because RNA, DNA and proteins are all polymers, large molecules made of smaller subunits that convey information, similar to the way that letters in a certain order convey information in the form of words. Transcription is the synthesis of RNA under direction of DNA by the enzyme RNA polymerase. DNA, in addition to providing information to copy itself during replication, also provides information to assemble a complementary sequence of RNA nucleotides, which is called a messenger RNA or mRNA as it carries a genetic message from the DNA to the protein synthesizing machinery of the cell, the ribosomes. Ribosomes are composed of a type of RNA known as ribosomal RNA, or rRNA. Ribosomes are essential for the second step, translation, which is the synthesis of a polypeptide under the direction of mRNA. Once the mRNA is made by transcription, it exits the nucleus in eukaryotes and enters the cytoplasm where the ribosomes are located. Ribosomes facilitate the linking of amino acids in the order dictated by the mRNA with the help of transfer RNAs or tRNAs. tRNAs have the ability to interpret the code in the mRNA and the job is to bring in amino acids from the cytoplasm into the ribosome. So how does tRNA translate the mRNA code into a protein? It turns out that there is a code known as the genetic code, which is present in all living organisms. The code works as follows. Different triplets or sets of three RNA nucleotides code for specific amino acids. These triplets of bases are referred to as codons. For example, codons GUU, GUC, GUA and GUG code for the amino acid valine. A codon of special significance is AUG, referred to as the start codon because it codes for the amino acid methionine, which is the first amino acid in all proteins. The codons UAA, UAG and UGA are known as stop codons because these tell the enzyme where to stop translating the mRNA.